All right, so this is where we're at right now. This is the old engine still attached to the trans axle and let's see, the alternator's still there, the compressor's still there. We've got a bunch of stuff to pull off, including that spaghetti mess of electrical connectors. And then this is our final destination. That is our junkyard motor with only 41,000 miles on it. It was in a I don't remember what it was in, but whatever it was in, the car got rear-ended, the engine's in great shape, so they tell me, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start transferring all of the stuff from here to here, then, yeah, that part's all over the place, but after that, hopefully we'll be ready to just do a reinstall and be good to go. I have beaten the monster. And uh, just recently, Jonathan and I uh, attacked the transaxle on it. So uh, thanks to Jonathan for that. I was not able to do that by myself very easily. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start moving everything over from this guy right here, including that harness, which is actually uh, completely separated from it. It's just sitting on there. But we're going to move the harness over to this guy right here, and that's where we're going to start. Then we're going to start putting stuff on, like, oh, I don't know, AC compressor and all that other kind of stuff. I actually forgot about something. i got to bolt in the torque converter bolt, so I'll be doing that as well. So uh, we're just going to get started on this thing. All right, so this is really not that big of a deal. Just uh, find the first bolt hole, line it up. You can, you can spin the torque converter uh, until you line them up. And then there's the first one. So I think this side of the engine is pretty darn close as far as connections are concerned. And now I'm going to go do the other side. All right, so this side is still pretty bare. It's missing an AC compressor. It's missing an alternator. It's missing a starter. It's missing the big uh, motor mount. All right, so have made a little bit of progress. Let's see here. The uh, alternator's on and the... AC compressor's on, everything's hooked up. I can't remember what this little dude's all about. We've got this big red wire from the alternator ducking down and sneaking across, going to the starter. The starter has also got this silver guy who basically terminates at the battery. Uh, the starter is in, and that is pretty much where we're at right now. This guy right here is going to go to a O2 sensor, if I'm not mistaken. This guy right here is going to go to a O2 sensor. I... Just for grins, I decided to get a new water pump, and I also replaced the alternator with a brand new one. I put the big old plate back on it, and uh, the water, water pump pulley. The harness is all on every connection except for the ones that connect to the car. Uh, are connected. All right, so I hope it doesn't bite me in the butt, but I decided to put both of the catalytic converters back on and the corresponding heat shields. So these were things that I pulled off before removing the engine, but I don't want to have to put them back on inside the engine. So I did it here. So we're going to see if that blows up on me, but uh, this thing's ready to go back in. Okay, so this is where I'm at. She's ready to go back in. Now what I did was, I cheated. I found the alignment hole and I stuck a piece of copper piping in there. I actually hung it from up there. I hung it from up there first and then I pulled the card in to where it lined up perfectly with that bolt hole and then I verified that it was the same way on, uh, on the flip side. And uh, hopefully I'm pretty close. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be perfect, but hopefully when uh, when I lower the car, I'll be pretty darn close uh, in terms of having to shift the engine around um, to get it mated back up with the car. Okay, so with the engine in, up there, I've turned my attention to the subframe. And this is definitely not a how-to do this, but it's the only way I know how to do it by myself without giving it a whole lot of thought. My goal is to get that onto this on top of that. Okay, boys and girls, this is how not to do it. It's hanging. 
Okay. This is where we're at. Don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, so in order to get the subframe, uh, okay, in order, <laughs> in, in order to get the subframe, what am I trying to say? In order to get the subframe connected in its four places and line up the, that right there, whatever, the engine mount, it took four hours. Matt? Yeah. Lots and of sweat. Matt? Giselle? Yes. Hey, I wasn't part of this masterpiece. Rachel? Hello. And Robbie. I pressed buttons. Robbie pressed <laughs> buttons. So Robbie was the was the lift man. Rachel was a spotter. I was offering coffee. Uh -huh. Giselle and, Giselle brought and the light. held the light for Rachel. Uh-huh. And now providing her with a coupon. Matt's the muscle. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing. And then me. Just I'm just exhausted. I've been at this since 9 a.m. But the face of determination and the, the muscle. Look at that. Look at the muscle. The muscle. Probably turning Giselle on any. <laughs> All right. All right. Here I am back in the garage alone after the Herculean task of lining up the subframe and getting it in there. Uh, I'm so glad that I'm hoping that the rest of this is going to go um, relatively smoothly. I got to say, uh, the lesson learned here is that that rear catalytic converter, that, it was getting in our way. It just got in our way, got in our way, got in our way. And it just got to the point where we just got frustrated and ripped it out. And when we ripped it out, um, we had more room on the back end uh, to be able to get everything to line up, especially the uh, motor mount where the, where the engine mounts to the subframe itself on the rear part of the engine so uh yeah that was a lot harder than i thought it was going to be um so uh i'm stalling right now um trying to figure out what my next move is i think a nice easy safe move is to uh, get back under the car and uh, I, I really just got to double triple and quadruple check all of these connections okay well i found five out of six of the bolts and put the exhaust back on so I got that going for me. All right, battery's charging. And I done gone to the store and bought oil and transmission fluid and coolant. And I'm ready to start putting fluids in. Because everything, I think, is, uh, is together. Obviously not this. So we're getting close, super close. Fingers crossed. All right, I am recording. Go ahead and turn it on. All right, so with the preliminary test run complete, I went ahead and threw in the airbox, kind of put everything back where it's supposed to be and finished, uh, finished off hooking up the vacuum lines and it takes me over here, get the brake calipers back on and get ready for road test.